Now, should you take a stroll through Leicester Square today, you may just bump into some film legends. Mary Poppins, Charlie Chaplin and Mr Bean have moved in until the summer to celebrate the square's 350th anniversary. Wendy Harrell can explain. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. Rather apt weather conditions for the unveiling of one statue this morning. Captured in bronze in Leicester Square, Jean Kelly hanging from a lamppost, a scene from the film Singing in the Rain. I'm laughing at clouds. His widow Patricia helped with the design. I said you've got to make sure the twinkle is in his eye and it's there, so I'm very happy. His is one of eight statues on a trail called Scenes in the Square, celebrating a hundred years of cinema here. Leicester Square represents film history in London and in the world, and it was an important place for Gene. I mean, this is where he attended the premieres of his own films and the Royal Variety performances, and so I think, and I think he'd, he'd be very happy to be with his pal Charlie Chaplin and, and have this be kind of a gathering place for people, young people and people all around the world to come and, and kind of revisit him and his legacy. Hugh Bonneville introduced Paddington Bear, bravely biting a marmalade sandwich. Really so okay. The actor played Mr Brown in the two Paddington movies. I think this is gorgeous because it's, it's very true to the Peggy Fortnum illustrations from the original stories and, and from the, you know, the bear that we created in the, in the movies of Paddington. And I think what's most perfect is that it's quintessential Paddington. He's sitting here enjoying uh, the company of strangers while eating his, his, his lunch, his, his favourite marmalade sandwiches. And I think that's uh, perfect for this uh, part of the square where people come and sit and have their coffee break and their lunch breaks and uh, just take it all in. The Empire Theatre reopened as a cinema in 1928, beginning a new era for Leicester Square, which was built 350 years ago. And today, spits and spots of sleet were not enough to spoil its newest attraction. Wendy Hurrell, BBC London.